Greetings, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I had a lot of fun with last episode, and honestly, just the recording process with this was fun, so here I am with more of it. Now, we have a little bit of a necropimancer problem in the uh, fort, as I showed off last episode, and I will most certainly be dealing with that soon. But I want to get these bedrooms done first. Okay, they're finally starting to dig uh, in here, that's good. Alright, this I'm gonna put the stockpiles uh, adjacent to this hallway and I'm gonna put the bedrooms over to this hallway. Okay, so we're making ooh, somebody made a good a nice uh well designed wooden bin. That's good. Honestly, uh we haven't even started putting a large quantity of uh stock rooms yet, so I think we need to kind of take a break on bins for right now. Because we are going to need beds. And quite a few of them, actually. <sighs> because I want to make sure I have a few extra ones for when the next migrant wave hits. Mind you, I'll generally wait until we get more people before I start making bedrooms. But I'm always trying to make sure we have a few extra once I'm done. Before I'm done uh, with any particular wave of bedroom making. Alright, I think I can go ahead now. I know most people make their bedrooms two by two, but I don't really think that's fair to the dwarves. I think they would appreciate a little bit more space. So I always make my bedrooms three by three. I just like to be nice to my dwarves. I mean, they... You really do need to be managing their happiness, especially once your... Uh... Fortress starts getting big, big. Okay, I'd prefer that you finish the hallway first, but... Uh, I don't really know how to... Change priorities on mining orders, so I just I guess I'm just gonna have to let them do it according to their Okay, we got some animals fighting. Hold on. What's going on? I don't even see any animals here. Where'd they go? Yeah, I don't see any animals here. That's weird. No. Nah. Yeah, I don't see the animals. I just... No? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. There's fighting going on. I see blood now. Okay, there's the wombat. Is it the dog and the wombat that's fighting? I guess this, th this uh, wombat isn't exactly tame. But, uh, is it dead? No, it's just hurt, and it's gone. Okay. Good job, dog, for keeping our fortress safe from a wombat, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get our pen and pack sure cleared out. I cleared out the space, but I never actually did anything with it, so... Yeah, and let's just start getting all our dogs, cats, pigs, just, yeah, all of this. Wait, 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 what is this? Oh, wait, this is somebody's pet. Ah, uh, you know what, I don't give a crap. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, I do. There we go. Let's get the, let's get the animals inside. Okay. Let's see here. How are things going here? Things are getting worked on. Oh, and I probably shouldn't have dug this out just yet. Uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. All our minor doors are focusing on carving out bedrooms anyway, so it's all good. We do have some gems, so I should probably uh, tell this jeweler's workshop to cut gems. And encrust finished goods with cut gems. So that our, cut work, so our finished goods are worth more money. We only need... Uh, Three more beds, two more cabinets, and uh, four more doors. In fact, while that's getting made, we can go ahead and start working on some uh, stockpiles here. And that 
is not all the bad. The doors. I guess for some reason the doors are making, uh, taking longer to do. All right. Well, we can talk to the one that's making uh, cabinets and tell him to stop, and we can have our carpenter go back to making bins. We'll need a lot of those. And since there are foods here, I'm gonna go ahead and tell. Oh, we're, the, we're almost at, we're out of drinks now, too. Okay. We have some, some uh, barrels already, so. Brew, drink from plant, and prepare some easy meals. I'll turn, I'll change, I'll change this out to lavish once we have some more materials. So that's our bedrooms taken care of. Let's claim them now. Uh, don't show again, please. Thank you. Bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and click multi, so I don't have to... Now, multi will claim the walls around them. That kind of sucks, but it's what it is. This is the fastest, honestly, the fastest way to uh, actually claim these things without having to open the same menu multiple times. And, yeah, we hit the auto-save right as I'm making bedrooms. The game auto-saves every early autumn and early spring. Early spring. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure you start, uh, whatever you start a fortress in a new world, you automatically start in like mid spring. So, and move our uh, stone stockpile here. Let's see, accept. We're gonna put this, set this to stone, and that's gonna need to be a lot bigger. But it can, it honestly can wait right now. Uh, let's see, your next stockpile is gonna be over here, and we can set this to gems. Actually, I'm not gonna do that just because. Gems are going to get cut and then immediately encrusted onto finished goods. So I think instead, huh, I think instead we're going to make this our furniture stockpile because we're going to need that. Okay, and there's one more finished over here. I can always make these bigger later on. I'm not confined to the space I initially make them, so that's why I'm not too worried about it. Ah, uh, let me see here. I think we can put, yeah, go ahead and put our wood here because we're going to need a stockpile for that. For all the wood stuff we're going to be making. Yeah, and yeah, so bins, the purpose of bins is to put things in. So that if you have a stockpile of finished goods and it's just finished goods laying around, that same amount of space is not going to be able to hold as much as if it would if you had a bunch of bins to put all that stuff into because bins can hold a lot. Although there's some things you can't put into bins like wooden logs and uh, stone chunks. I think you can put uh, stone blocks into bins though, which is weird. Okay, so we got another couple ones open. Let's no. Let's get another works. Let's get another. Uh, Stockpile here, except uh, this is going to be our bars and blocks stockpile. This is where all our uh, charcoal, bitmus, uh, coal, coke, all our metals. Yeah, I don't know why it's called coke, but it's not like a drug. It's just processed coal that can be used to fuel the, uh, the smelter. Don't know what the deal is for that. Okay, so yeah, that's our bars and blocks stockpile set up. Let's get another one right over here. Right over. Click yet. Yeah. Click start and you went dumbass. There we go. Okay. Although it's a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the decent merchants, which I guess is our civilization, is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft stores. And yeah, our craft uh, station has been uh, has been busy. Take careful stock of your own stores. Uh, kind of can't without a bookkeeper, but you know. Uh, what these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. Because, uh, yeah, winter's coming up. Okay, so what do I want to put here? You know what? Actually, I think I changed my mind. We don't really need any more stockpiles right now. I'll leave these two, these two, spot, uh, op two spots open and make more as we need to fill them up. Right, so let's click the diplomacy page here. I'm I am your realization from the mountain homes, the uh, capital of our nation city, the capital city of our nation. Excuse me. Let, let's discuss your situation. Okay, there is much to share. Information added to civilization's world info, which is 
right down here in the bottom right. That took me a while to find this, actually. Okay. Make requests for next year's caravan. They all charge more for these items. So, this is how you're going to guarantee what they have to offer you next year. Because their inventory is procedurally generated after, like, the second uh, caravan, I think. I actually don't know exactly, but... I think the first year, maybe the second one, they bring a bunch of every, everything. But after that, it's procedurally generated. But you can t tell them what to bring this way at the cost of making what they want for it increase, go up. Uh, excuse me. Okay, we're definitely going to want some pl uh, cl cloth to turn into clothing. That's not an immediate concern. But that's immediate enough that I want to impress upon that. Let's get some cow leather in case our dwarves fell into any strange moods. Uh, we really don't need it. Doesn't it really doesn't matter what kind of leather, but I want to click on everything. Uh, let's see here. We don't need crafts. That well, that's what our uh, for fortress is for, is for making those. Wood, honestly, there's plenty of trees around here. I'm not worried about it. Metal bars. Nah, I'm not worried about that right now. Cut gems, not worried about that. Stone blocks, no. Seeds, yes. Seeds, yes. My farms are always running out of seeds to plant for some reason. I really don't know why. So it's just, other than like, I know certain actions use up the seeds, like cooking certain mushrooms or brewing certain mushrooms in a beer. So yeah, I just want all of the seeds. Uh, anvils, we're good with the one we have. Weapons, I can make those. Trading weapons, I can make those. Ammo, we Drink. Okay, let's see. Bring your booze. It's going to help supplement what I can make. Yeah, let's go with some pigtail thread and some uh, spider silk thread. For using as sutures or cloth, crafting a cloth, whatever we need of it. Yeah, I think that will about do it. Done. Okay. Okay, they, in turn, want headwear and musical instruments. So I'm going to want to focus on crafting that over the course of the next year. Uh, because they uh, will expect to give you more for them. So yeah, uh, but yeah, this is not something you have to do, but it's a way to make uh, to make more room for getting more stuff from them, basically, because coins aren't something that are exchanged unless you make them. There we go. All right, now, so let's pause this, go all the way up to our trade caravan, and... Let's move our broker to, let's have our broker, request our broker to come to the depot for trading. And while he's going there, let's take any amulets we have, any finished goods, really. So now we need, need to wait for our finished goods to go to the stockpile. Let me unpause the game. And we also need to wait, oh, okay, well, our broker's already here. So now we're just waiting for all our, all our products to reach the uh, store shelves. Or trading the depot shelves, rather. We have a bunch of stuff to click on over here. The merchants have arrived. I'm aware of that. A uh, horse gave a birth. Nobody cares. Outpost lesion. Not care. I know that. Somebody made a masterpiece. Ben. Cool. Uh, somebody became a miner. Cool. We have a... Oh, no. Why do we have a... Why do we have a necromancer? That's the X. That's something... Uh, he must have came in from the... Uh, with, with the migrant wave. We may need to kick him out. We don't need to... I don't want to deal with undead here. Uh, so yeah, can't brew drink. Yeah, yada yada. yada. Uh, can't brew. Can't make any more easy meals. We're out of food. Cool. Uh, those meals gonna have to do that. We struck a bunch of stuff, and autumn is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything's here, so let's trade. All right. So when you're trading, you want to focus first on what they can give you, and then you want to sell to them what it takes to cover the costs with some extra. Something I had to learn very, very early into my time with Dwarf Fortress is that you can't treat this like any other RPG or any other game with an, with an economy, whereas you can just sell them all your stuff and get a bunch of money out of them. Not only because Quasar's exchange unless you, unless you made them yourself, but if your traders leave at a loss or at not enough profit, they won't come back. And you need your traders to generate rumors about positive rumors about your fortress in order to get people to want to come there. So if you want a large population, so you have more dwarves working on more things at the same time, uh, yeah, these guys need to leave happy. So you're going to want to give them, give them more than they're giving you. So let's see what we can use out of what we have here. 
I usually make a deal about not getting taking gems from them because they're usually like expensive. I can just find gems digging. It's not a big deal. All right, let's buy their booze because we're very much low on booze. Scroll down some. I'll buy a iron pick for them because that's better than copper. But now I'm going to leave this all alone. I'm not going to buy any clothes. We can make that. Uh, let me see here. Let's buy some. Okay, you see how this is set. Um, the bat with weight bags for because that'll tell you what it's made out of first, and then it'll tell you what's in it. Okay, so what? And sometimes it's the other way around. I don't really understand how that works, but uh, we don't need. It. I'm not gonna buy any silk or wool or anything. Like that. We're hoping they would have seeds in there, but I guess not. Uh, bins. Uh, I will buy one cloth bin. Uh, maybe two. Actually, just to have a variety of wool and silk. Uh, yeah. And then I'll buy one thing of leather. Just to make sure I have these things and went for when the fame moods start hitting. Which, yeah, it should happen any minute now, honestly. Uh, they don't have any coal, uh, plant cloths, do they? I guess not. Okay. Meat. I'll buy all your meat. We're low on food. I'll buy all your fish. We're low on food. And then I'll buy all your plants and all your leaves and fruit because the plants and leaves and fruit can all be made to booze. So I want all that. I'll buy all your thread just to make sure we have it. I will need to put up a hospital at some point because we got goblins nearby and I don't know if we're at war with them or not. Uh, not worried about any of this. Cheese I'll buy for food. Uh, I... And I'll go ahead and buy your splint and your crutch just to have in case. Alright, so now, in exchange for that, let's go ahead and sell all our figurines. All our amulets. All our scepters. All our crowns. And given how early this is, if I might not have enough for everything I'm trying to buy. So I might have to put some, some things back for now. Definitely not all the food and brewable materials. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I will have to put something back. I think the processed, I think the processed, uh, beer I might have to take back. Because they do charge quite a bit for that. So, yeah, let me scroll up. All of this is fairly cheap individually. Let's see here, scroll up. Uh, yeah, the, you know what, these bins actually, for right now, are a little too expensive. I will take the leather bin though. I bought a bunch of bread thread. I can weave that into cloth so we have that. But I will keep the leather the leather because we're we don't have a really solid way of getting that unless I find a way how to make uh, ammo. Because right now I don't really know how. Uh let me see here. I think the other thing I can really get rid of is the iron pickaxe, which we don't necessarily really need. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's gonna be the next thing I drop. And yeah, the beer isn't actually, like, that expensive, so I'll hang on to that. So yeah, let's drop this. And, uh... uh Alright. I'm gonna try. What you really want to do is make this number, this trader profit number, green. Because that way they'll, they'll accept it no matter what. If it's yellow, whether or not they accept it depends on your, uh... Your broker skill, and I just elected this guy, so let's try it. Oh, yay! They accepted it right away. Good, 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 good. I don't have to worry about leaving anything else behind that I want that I we do that we need uh, for the winter. Because, ugh, yeah. Okay, so our trading is done. All right, so let's look at. Well, that's time has been passing while I do that. Let's look at some other things here. What can I set to happen next? Right, we need to actually because I'm not done. Uh, making finished goods because we're, we're going to need to make a constant stream of those. Right, so I think what I want to do is like, ooh, okay, there's not a lot of room here, unfortunately. Let's do this, and then let's do, I think, this. This should be enough room with all the pens we have, I think. Yeah, like that. Okay, and hopefully some. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. 
I need to actually uh, make, make a way for them to get there. <laughs> Mimi's silly. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's something you kind of have to watch out for, too. Is, uh... Wait, what? Okay, I don't really know how that got there, then. Because some of these uh, pebbles and things can become open spaces. So you kind of have to watch out for that. Sometimes it's uh, better to dig more, to go more down more than one level before building your farm and everything. But uh, we really only had the one room, to, the one floor to work with, unfortunately. I really wish there was a way to tell what seeds are planted in each. Actually, I don't think I've even set that yet. Hold on, what am I thinking? All right, so I want one plot to be just f uh, plump helmets. There we go. And then I want one farm to focus on pigtails during the summer and winter. And then can, it can focus on dimple cups during the spring and winter. And then I want one to focus on cave wheat for the spring and winter. And dimple cups for the spring and winter. For the cave wheat for the summer and autumn. Dimple cups for the spring and winter. There. And then the last one. <sighs> hmm. I guess the last one can just be Dimple Cups on all, all season. And maybe I'll take one of the ones that's, that has Dimple Cups for spring and summer and make that. Uh, plump Helmets. That way we have more than one source of Plump Helmets. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have uh, a farm plot making growing one more than one kind of crop uh, a season. So It is good to kind of have variety there. Hey, there's our second migrant wave. Okay, this is the one of the guaranteed ones that came with the uh, caravan. So I need to build bedrooms for them. Welcome to Bedroom Building Simulator. <laughs> In my first fortress, I had my population go to go up from 26 to 64 in one migrant wave. That was crazy. <laughs> I, I didn't have it in my second fortress. I don't think it's something that uh, happens very often. So, hey. And yeah, the once that's done and I got those bedrooms set up, I'll uh, start working on offices. Actually, it's not a bad idea to do that. Also, well, I think I'll wait until the bed. I'll wait. I'll wait later. So I was, I think we need to start uh, smoothing some things up because dwarves like living in nice environments, and by smoothing out the rock, it looks nice. And graving also does that, but like a lot better. But smoothing and engraving are slow processes, so you kind of have to uh, watch how you handle that. You don't want your dwarves doing one thing for too long and uh, end up uh, having problems. Kind of come from that. Okay, so we got some alerts here. The merchants from our home nation of uh, left. Uh, one of our dwarves has give. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a pet. Okay, so that's just animals. Don't care about that. Okay. And it started raining on the surface, which were dwarves. Why would we care? <laughs> yeah, so these are just going to be like uh, placeholders for hallways that we'll leave here for now. I will actually go ahead and start the smoothing process while uh, we're building. We'll fi we're filling the uh, four new bedrooms with, uh, well, the two new bedrooms of the two that didn't get filled up before with furniture for the bedrooms and uh look over here call a cruel shed no dwarven child has taken by was to is taken by a fell mood and they have claimed a craft dwarf's workshop well let's hope they find what they need because that craft store shop workshop is that's our money <laughs> so yeah, let's hope they get what they need and uh they're not sitting there for a long time uh Hoping that they can get what they need. I'm especially worried because it's a kid. Like, I'm not... I'm fairly certain... I'm, I'm not kind of worried that he's not going to be able to... Get what he needs. So, let's see. He needs bones. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, we do have a refuse foul pal fairly nearby. And we have been slaughtering animals. We have, right? Uh, we may not have been. Yikes. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and start slaughtering in mass. Yeah, let's start doing that. Because we need bones. Slaughtering gives us meat. 
I'm pretty sure he gives us leather as well. Although that might need to be processed. I should build a tanner uh, workshop, actually. Uh, did not leave a lot of room for that. Well, I guess we're digging out a spot up here then for it. Hold it! Okay, good. He got the bones he needs. He's actually working. If it says... If it says they've begun a mysterious construction, that means they have everything they need and are actually working on their artifact. Which is good, because if your doors don't have what they need, eventually they're going to lose their minds. Some of them will just get depressed, but some of them will berserk, start throwing tantrums, start fighting dwarves, and you might lose multiple uh, numbers of your population, members of your fortress. It's bad when that happens, so... I'm very glad this little kid got what he needed. Also, it's also a good thing because artifacts are worth a lot of money. Though, that really only matters if they donate it to your uh, fortress's local government. Which was not the case here. Call a cruel Shedmal. Dwarven Child has created Rit Nolral, a dogbone right gauntlet. He claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestors. So he made a gauntlet. A made out of dog bone, which f we needed bone. I wasn't too picky. Uh, I know that's kind of horrible, but I was desperate to get bone so this kid could uh, make his artifact and not go insane. Sorry. Uh, right, okay. Scroll down, and we... I might not actually have the furniture we need. I, let's see here. Because I did tell him to stop. But I, they had going going on. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna need to tell them to make fur to make furniture again. So, let's see here, cab. No, 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 cab, cabinet. Make that on repeat. Uh, I did never. Don't think I ever told him to stop making doors, which is uh, good. I think he can stop now though. That's a lot of doors. That is a lot of doors. All right, and then our car carpenter. Uh, you can st stop that for now. We need beds. Alright, so speaking of doors, actually, I want to put doors um, surrounding our stairwell because eventually something's going to want to come and beat us up, and I want to make sure I can get my door somewhere door somewhere safe uh, so that the uh, the big baddies can't come get to our doors. And that's what doors are for. Because most things cannot break down doors that have been forbidden. Because that basically means that they're locked. Alright, that will do it. Uh, but it also means we have uh, doors for these four bedrooms as well. And yeah, you can lock somebody into their bedrooms. You can, The way I've built it, you can lock them into their craft stations if you need to. Which is a good way to prevent berserk dwarves from uh, losing their minds to not being able to make their artifacts. From breaking out and killing people. Okay, so, now that we have a lot of meat, meat and fish here, uh, rendering fat, that's fine. I don't really care. Let's make some lavish meals on repeat. And let's make some... Okay, this is good to know that, we are, that we're out of barrels. I won't have to keep that in mind for later. Because right now, uh, our carpenter's kind of busy making beds, which we need. Alright, so, let's check our furniture. Let's check cabinets. We have all the cabinets we need. Kind of hard to tell with all the smoothing going on, uh, marker going on here. Yeah, okay. I think I see the bed. Yep. Okay, so that's uh, these beds taken care of. Let's go ahead and do that uh, multi thing. Now, it's perfectly fine to leave your bedroom zones uh, to not assigned to doors because if a door sees an empty bedroom and decides to sleep in there, once they are asleep in there, they'll claim it. So, uh, or actually, maybe once they wake up, they'll claim it. Uh, that might be a jank thing with the uh, mechanics. I'm not sure how exactly that works. Uh, oh, no. Somebody's fighting. Oh, no. That's a Kia. Okay. It is a good thing that I put those doors there because Kia steal. Uh, yeah, okay. So, it looks like one of our fortress pets is fighting the Kia. Alright, well, that's uh, those two animals fighting, so I'm not too worried about it. Ah, the Kia stole a pigtail. Th darn it. Right, they have act they can steal things that are sitting on the 
Mm, okay. Let's pause time then. Because, okay, there are no merchants trading right now, so we can't... Uh, the dwarves are being slow about picking all this stuff up. I mean, it's getting stolen because of that. That's unfortunate. Darn Kias. Well, I don't have any military stuff, so there's not a whole lot I can, a whole lot I can do about that. Well, things are moving kind of slowly at this point in the story. This is all still recording from the last video. Like, it's all one recording session. There's multiple videos from one recording session, so, yeah. It does kind of suck that I haven't remembered to take care of that necromancer yet, but it's coming up. Hopefully the uh, Kias don't steal anything else. At least not anything more important than a single thread of, than a single string of pigtail thread. <laughs> if you got to this point in the video, it means the world to me, as it always does. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Farewell. Farewell.